Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On January 13th, Kyungi Province announced that it will pursue inter-Korean peace and cooperation programs, including the resumption of the Gaesung Tour and the development of a tree nursery in Gaepung. Making this announcement at a press conference, Kyungi Province Vice Governor for Peace Lee Hua Young stated that the province will pursue its own peace and cooperation policies despite soured inter-Korean relations. Among other items, Gyeonggi Province will pursue the resumption of the Gaesung Tour as a top priority, beginning with a province-wide petition signing campaign for government approval. The province will also begin talks with North Korean authorities regarding tree nursery development in Gaepung, a project that has been exempted from North Korean sanctions by the United Nations. The province will pursue this not simply as humanitarian support, but as an inter-Korean cooperation project. The province will also pursue the exemption of rural development trial projects from North Korean sanctions, as well as the peaceful utilization of Han River watersheds and the joint development of a peace park. As an inter-Korean support policy operator designated by the central government, Kyunggi province is expected to play a leading role in the thawing of chilled inter-Korean relations. During Korea's Joseon dynasty, there was a tradition of enshrining the umbilical cords of newborn princes and princesses at carefully selected auspicious sites. Kyunggi province launched a project for the protection of such sites as cultural assets. This is the umbilical cord enshrinement of King Jungjong, the 11th king of the Joseon dynasty. The umbilical cord is kept in a stone jar 1.5 meters high and 1 meter in diameter. It is surrounded by stone guardrails and protective stone work. Initially referred to as an umbilical cord chamber, such sites were later decorated with stonework and referred to as enshrinements when the owners were enthroned. This particular enshrinement was destroyed during the Japanese occupation but restored in 1987. Royal umbilical cord enshrinements are a unique aspect of Korean traditional culture. However, a large number of such sites disappeared during the Japanese occupation and in the course of modern-day developments. Recent examinations revealed that, out of 25 known royal umbilical cord enshrinements, 13 have been preserved or designated as local historical relics, 7 have been lost completely, and 5 are missing due to the uncertainty of their locations. Kyungi Province will protect these royal umbilical cord enshrinements through cultural asset designation while continuing the search for the five undiscovered locations. A recent survey of six Kyungi Provincial Medical Center hospitals revealed that 67% of all patients who underwent operations during the period from October of 2018 to December of 2019 agreed to have their operations recorded by operating room CCTV systems. This is 13 points higher than the 54% agreement rate of the period immediately after system installation. Kyungi Province will continue to expand the installation of operating room CCTV systems to prevent medical malpractice and to protect the rights of patients. Kyungi Province recently announced that it will significantly reform R&D support programs so as to enhance the fairness 
and transparency of program implementation through the transparent disclosure of evaluation results and the permanent exclusion of subjects that utilize support inappropriately. Designated as a Regional Cooperative Research Institute by Kyungi Province in 2016, this institute conducts research on the fusion of optical and medical technologies. Through joint efforts by university researchers and SMEs, and thanks to Kyungi Province's R&D support, the institute has developed a plasma sterilizer prototype and is currently preparing clinical tests for a surgery scar removing LED device. 연구비 지원하는 프로그램이 많지는 않습니다. 아주 기업에서 그 사업화 직전에 제품을 만드는 연구 또는 뭐 기초 연구는 있지만 그 중간 연구가 없었는데요. 그런 지원을 하는 과제라는 측면에서 굉장히 의미가 있고요. Gyeonggi Province's fair and transparent R&D support reform aims to help researchers work without financial restraints. The most notable improvement will be the enhancement of transparency through the disclosure of project evaluation results. Evaluations will also be enhanced by increasing the number of evaluators in the evaluation pool to 2,000. Other enhancements include the computerization of technology development processes. Fees will be paid only for successful developments instead of the previous fixed fee rate of 10%. Those institutes that inappropriately use support will be permanently disqualified from any further support. Through fair and transparent support, Kyungi Province aims to realize a virtuous ecological cycle in R&D that will serve as a foundation for the fourth industrial revolution. Kyunggi-do Incorporated, a provincial organization that aids SMEs with marketing, product design, and advertisement support, achieved sales of 10 billion Korean won last year, the highest such figure and first surplus in its history. This company, a manufacturer of educational devices for children using augmented reality software, was able to achieve sales of 200 million Korean won with online and offline marketing support from Korea Kyunggi-do Incorporated. 그 이전에는 저희 상품에 그 소위 매출이란 부분에 굉장히 미비했는데 현재는 매달 몇 백만 원 수준의 그 고정 고정 판매가 이루어지고 있고 This small enterprise had been unable to invest in advertisement due to heavy R&D expenditures. After receiving support from Korea Kyunggi-do Incorporated, its sales increased threefold. SNS 영상 지원도 받았고요. 고객한테 홍보할 수 있는 기회를 주셔서 저희한테는 많은 힘이 되고 있습니다. By assisting SMEs with marketing, product design, and advertisement, Korea Kyunggi-do Incorporated achieved sales of 10 billion Korean won last year, its highest sales results to date. This amount is more than three times greater than that of the previous year, marking Korea Kyunggi-do Incorporated's first net profit. Home shopping, commerce를 통해서 매출을 증대를 했고요. 신규 사업으로 해외 비즈니스 사업을 진출했습니다. 새롭게 그래서 그런 사업들이 어잘 성공적으로 이루어지지 않았나 싶습니다. Korea Kyunggi-do Incorporated will expand its support to assist more than 200 SMEs with their overseas launches. Construction plans for Exhibition Hall 3 of Kintex in Goyang City recently passed the preliminary feasibility study by the Ministry of Strategy and Finance, giving the green light for the development of Kintex as a world-class exhibition center. Established jointly by the Korean central and local governments as a major trade hub of Asia, Kintex is Korea's largest international exhibition and convention center, with the total area of exhibition halls 1 and 2 amounting to 100,000 square meters. 올 때마다 뭐 다양한 전시를 구경 관람할 수 있어서 늘 어, 애용하고 있습니다. 인근 지역 주민으로서 어, 전시장이 더 많이 생겨서 다양한 행사가 열렸으면 좋겠습니다. On January 15th, following the passage of construction plans for Exhibition Hall 3 by the central government, Kyunggi Province, Goyang City, and Kotra jointly announced the plans 
and agreed to cooperate in their implementation, an event that has long been awaited by the domestic mice industry. <laughs> Exhibition Hall 3 will be constructed on a 70,000 square meter site adjacent to Exhibition Halls 1 and 2. This project carries an estimated cost of more than 480 billion Korean won, which will be drawn from national and provincial funds. Construction work will begin next year with the opening of the hall slated for 2024. When completed, Exhibition Hall 3 is expected to have annual economic ripple effects of 6.4 trillion Korean won and to create more than 30,000 new jobs. With this world-caliber exhibition center, Northern Gyeonggi is expected to become a center of high added value industries as well as a hub of global exhibitions and conventions. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.